My name is Sam Cash, and uh, I'm a Toronto singer-songwriter, and uh, I'm a bartender every now and then as well. Well, we just uh, finished this record, and so for better or worse, I've been obsessing over it, yeah. you know, micromanaging every aspect of it, so that's an obsession. I don't think it's a healthy one, but it is one. There's a friend of ours, her name is Julie Arsenault, and I think she is a phenomenal singer, songwriter, and uh, Aaron Como, who plays with us, uh, produced her record, and I think it's pretty amazing, and uh, I think a lot more people should hear it, for sure. Uh, probably my tuner. Everyone needs a tuner. Can't play anything if you're out of tune. It's a bad answer, but. <laughs> well, I don't know if I wish I'd been part of it, but I remember when I did, uh, I opened for July Talk at their very first show at the Dakota, and this was like a couple years ago, and we were hanging out, and I saw them play. It was the first time anyone had really seen them play. I think this was their first show. And I was like, oh, man, I would love to be in your guys' band. Like, I look, I saw you guys play. Like, That's the band I want to be in. And then I talked to Peter later, and he said, like, they were looking for a guitar player, like, three days after that. But then they re found out I couldn't really play guitar. But he said, they were like, yeah, we were, you know, we were like, oh, what about Sam Cash? He said he really wanted to play. But I can't play guitar, so onward and upward. <laughs> Well, I grew up in a very musical family, and my dad was a musician, and my mom worked in the music business, so I couldn't, uh, I don't know if I really chose it. It's sort of, you know, it was the way it went from the beginning. What was that, what was the all, the, all the guys that have just died, there's this whole thing going around that's like, God is creating his super group. Well, it's like Lemmy, the guy from the specials. I don't know. Was it Bowie? Yeah, exactly, right? Bowie, you know. There's, the yeah, right, yeah. Uh, Glenn Fry from the Eagles. You know, they're forming something up there. My girlfriend got me this really great Tom Petty T-shirt from, like, the Long After Dark tour, which was, like, the mid-'80s, and, it uh, and it's real, so it's, uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool shirt. Oh, if I wasn't playing music, maybe I'd be bartending more than I normally do, but that would surely destroy me eventually, as that job does. Mm -hmm. So I'd be bartending more if I wasn't playing music, but I probably wouldn't be able to do it for that long. Scoring like an Adam Sandler comedy would probably be pretty fun. I'd get pretty creative. <laughs> I think the Cameron house, because we sort of cut our teeth there a bit. We played there a lot, you know, over the, over the, over the past few years. And we got, you know, we've sort of, those were our first gigs there. And, uh, you know, that place always feels like home to us, so probably the Cameron house. I would say uh, maybe a cheesy answer, but I guess Toronto, like the, or like you know, just city, the cityscape in general. Um, I think you know pushes you to do certain things sonically and lyrically, just based on the environment you live in and based on the places you play and stuff. I don't know. I don't think I've written that song quite yet. It's not there yet. <laughs>